Welcome back, friends, to the Content Systems for Growth podcast. My name is Michelle, and I am your host. Today, we're going to be diving into an essential topic for anyone looking to grow their online presence and their online business, list building. I'm going to give you that along with some action steps to set up your freebie funnel. Last week, we tackled planning your fourth quarter promotions. This week, we're setting up a list building project in Asana with some excellent freebie examples to streamline your workflow and boost your efficiency. Are you ready to get into it? Well, go grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and let's go. If list building sounds daunting, don't worry. We're breaking down the process into manageable tasks that you can put inside Asana with examples for freebies that can be very successful in attracting your subscribers. Are you ready to start by setting up your freebie funnel in your list building project in Asana? What's the first tap? Well, it's at the heart of your list building effort, and that's brainstorming an effective lead magnet or freebie. Task one or the subheading in your Asana will be brainstorming your lead magnet. And you know what's great about this is that you can use the same column, like you can create this one time and duplicate it over and over again. But you can also have in there a card with all of your ideas four different freebies as you're out and about. That way you know exactly where it's at and you have one place that you can go and just bring down all of your ideas as they're coming up. But let's say you have zero ideas right now. You're going to brainstorm the perfect freebie and it's about creating something so valuable that your ideal client can't help but jump at the chance to exchange their email for it. We're in the day and age where people really are cautious about who and what they give their email for because we don't want to have all of that spam in our inbox. Am I right with that? I know that I am, but I do. When I sign up for a freebie, I look at that freebie and I read their emails. And if they're good emails, I keep them. If not, I do them a favor and I get on the unsubscribe list. For holistic wellness coaches, this needs to resonate deeply with the interests and specific problems your ideal client is trying to solve that easily, easily flow into your freebie funnel that goes to your mini offer or your low ticket offer that is synergetic with your high ticket offer or your coaching package. So if you're over the whole discovery call thing, setting up your freebie funnel in this manner helps you say bye-bye to those discovery calls. And this was first introduced to me from Lindsay Maloney with her low-ticket course of the Dream Client Code. I think she talked about it on her podcast as well, but I'll just go ahead and put a link down below to her actual Thrive Cart with Dream Client Code, I believe is the name of the course. But friend, you're here for freebie examples. Okay, let's go ahead and set the stage. You're a wellness coach that's focusing on holistic health. Here are some freebie examples that you could really draw in your audience with. So first, I want you to consider maybe an audio series that you title Plant-Based Eating for Beginners. Oh, you should totally make that and let me know so that I can sign up for your freebie because I'm totally into plant-based eating for beginners right now. This can be a fantastic way for newcomers to learn about plant-based nutrition to easily digestible, no pun intended, segments that you put and drip to their emails as part of your email series or audio series so they can listen to it on the go. Anyways, Another fun freebie could be a virtual walking challenge. So set up a program that encourages participants to meet daily or weekly walking goals. You can complete a habit tracker and why not create a fun daily Spotify playlist with a link delivered straight to their inbox every single day. That way it will land in their inbox and they'll actually be excited to open it 
and you'll get their open and click-through rates in your reports. One thing to keep in mind with your virtual walking group, this can also be transitioned easily into a low ticket offer with a Facebook support community or a Voxer support community for added accountability. And for those interested in sustainable habits, such as drinking enough water, because it's funny to me, I think I drink enough water, but maybe I don't. But a habit tracker can be ideal along with including tips and best practices for them to easily be able to get more water intake into their day. You know, add some fruit to it, add some lemon to it, drink so much right away in the morning, have a different water bottles to know once you've reached your goal. All the fun little tips on how to drink enough water. And this tool can help your client track their progress and stay motivated. Last, I want you to think about a workbook on canning for beginners, because that would be fun too, wouldn't it? With a focus on preserving their bounty of the garden, this can attract individuals that are interested in healthy eating and sustainability. This workbook could include your step-by-step -step guides, any safety tips, because those suckers are hot when you pull it out of the water, right? A buying guide with links to your Amazon storefront, and your go-to canning recipes for that bumper tomato crop. While you're at it, you can add a tripwire on your thank you page. A tripwire is also a low ticket offer. On your thank you page to a mini course, Canning 101, because who doesn't want that when they're just starting out, where you can have videos on how to actually can. As you brainstorm, I just want you to consider the format that best delivers your content. Would your ideal client prefer just a PDF? Do they want to have an interactive webinar? Do they want to have that audio series? Or perhaps maybe they just want to have an email series, or potentially they like to have a video tutorial. It's up to you. It needs to resonate with your ideal client and what they want and what they can listen to or watch or read. How will they consume your freebie? You can use a Google Doc to organize your ideas. And if you're a visual thinker, be sure to listen to episode 80, just a couple episodes back, which is effortless, effortlessly planned with mind mapping, a simple guide for new wellness projects. Once you decide on the best idea and format, you'll be ready to move on to creating and structuring your freebie in a way that captivates and converts. Asana subheading number two is going to be your freebie creation. So once you've set on your top idea, this is the thing you're going to create, it's time to actually uh, create it. So you need to design your wireframe or simply your outline of what you're going to do with your freebie. I am big into pen and paper. I will literally take my notebook and I will draw out the chunk of what I would like my PDF to look like or I will draw out like the outline of what I want my information to be about and then then I will go into Canva and actually do it that way or if I do want to actually be on my computer this is when I use mine meister I think is what it's called it's there I t I actually talk about it in episode 80 so you can go through it and do your mind map that way so once you've designed your wireframe and you've written your copy you've got some awesome images, then it's time to put it all together. So if you're creating a PDF, you can use a tool like Canva. If you're doing a simple video, you can use something like Zoom or Loom in order to be able to do that recording of your desktop. Okay, Asana heading number three, your landing page and your opt-in form. I know it sounds so easy like when I give you these like big buckets of things, right? But you're going to develop your landing page that actually converts. So you want to keep it clean. You want to keep it user-friendly. And you want to connect it to your email service provider through an opt-in form. 
So this is your subscriber's entry point. I use Flowdesk for mine, and I keep it simple with a very simple opt-in form. Make it count with still keeping it simple. So you want everything above the fold. What does that mean? You don't want them to have to scroll down to be able to sign up for your freebie. You want it to be just at the top of the page so they can easily read the information about your opt-in and they can put in their name and email address and hit subscribe. Subheading number four in Asana is your thank you page and your welcome email. So after they opt in, you're going to direct your, your subscribers to a thank you page. Remember earlier when I mentioned adding a tripwire to your thank you page? You can do this. Pick a low-cost tripwire that's under $20. Make it a no-brainer decision so they don't have to think about it. Then after you have your thank you page wireframed out, the copy that you're going to put on it, if you're going to put images, if you're going to have a low-ticket offer, that they can click on. You want to have the links and everything available for you in your Asana project right there. Everything your Asana, when you create these, well, granted, this is you're creating a template, but you want to make sure you're putting everything in Asana. So you do not have to go searching for anything. Like it's all inside Asana. Your tripwire links, all of your links to your images. Everything is right there. What follows the thank you page? It's your welcome email. So make sure you have a solid welcome email. This could be the potentially the only email they read from you, but you want to make sure that you're writing it and letting them know when the next one will be coming in your series and why they want to be looking for it. Then Asana subheading number five is nurture your list. So don't stop at that welcome email. You want to give them more. The people that truly are interested in working with you are going to read your emails as long as you make them interesting, as long as you make them compelling, as long as you make them valuable. A freebie funnel includes a nurture sequence that provides valuable information to your ideal client and lets them know what it's like to work with you. You're addressing those common struggles because you know exactly what they're going through and you're doing little soft sells or asks throughout the series. I'm not saying that you're asking them for dollars, but maybe you're asking them to click on a link to go listen to a different podcast that you have or to read a blog post. Like You're wanting them to go to different places and take a little bit of action inside that email series. This helps you to build the trust and it encourages that engagement because you want people to be opening your emails and you want them to be clicking on your links so that you know that you're actually providing value to them. Subheading number six in Asana is to market your freebie. With your lead magnet ready, you need to promote it across the different platforms that you're actually on. The platforms in which your ideal client shows up on. You want to make sure you're writing engaging and thoughtful posts for social media you want to have blog content or your podcast. Whatever is your long form content, you want to make sure that you're adding in that freebie as a call to action in all of your things. Especially in these months leading up to Black Friday, you want to be building your email list before you start to promote it. So think of it in this manner. You like want one month of building up your email. You want one month of leading up to your low ticket offer. And you want to have a month where you're asking people to join you inside your high ticket offer or your one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching, whatever type of coaching that you offer. So you want to be following that same cadence. Pick the same type of image type. So if you have something that you're promoting in your 
freebie or you have certain images that you're using in your freebie, use those same images so they're familiar to people when they go look at your opt-in page, when they look at your workbook, when they look at all those things. In your different platforms, they can be Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, threads. I like threads. It's up to you. Like, what is the best place for you to show up on and that your ideal client shows up on as well? Subheading number seven, tracking your results. I know I've talked about it before, but it's crucial to track your results and know exactly what's working and what is not working. You can use a simple Google Sheet to monitor how many sus- subscribers you're gaining in access. And then you can look at what's actually working. Yeah, words are hard today. You'll literally check. Checking these stats allows you then to tweak your strategy to get better results. Because if you know if you're getting a lot from Pinterest, maybe you want to put a few more pins out there in regards to it. If you find that you're getting traffic from Facebook and they're opting in that way, maybe you want to double down a little bit more on Facebook. Like what is actually working? That's why you want to track your results from your freebie funnel. Okay. Geez, that was a lot of words, I feel like. But anyways, there you have it. I hope that helps you set up your list building project in Asana. I really tried to keep it simple with just the basics. But remember, the key to successful list building is organization and most important, consistency. Using Asana allows you to streamline your process and keep everything on track. No more wondering what is the next task that you need to do in your project. Thank you so much, friends, for tuning into this episode. If you found today's content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. It would mean so much to me. We have so many more great episodes coming up designed to help you grow your business effectively. Until next time, friends, keep optimizing and keep innovating. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you and I hope you make it a wonderful week. Yay. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this episode valuable and learned some actionable tips that you can implement in your business so that you can feel accomplished and less stressed. If you enjoyed this show, please take a quick minute to share this with your business bestie, subscribe, and leave a review. It helps me reach more business owners just like you. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes, please reach out to me on my website. I've created a form just for you. Remember, with the right system and mindset, you can achieve the success your heart desires. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget, let's grow, friends.